Hello, everyone. Um, uh, yeah, as I said, my name is Cameron Rutter and I'm a liaison librarian at QT Library, among other things. And the, the work uh, done in this uh, was related to my liaison role. Um, so today I'm going to give a quick overview of a project that uh, my colleague Rosie Glynn and I undertook last year, um, exploring co-author support for evidence synthesis by the QT Health liaison librarians. Uh, firstly, though, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands from where I'm joining you from today. I acknowledge the Turrbal and the Yagara as the First Nations owners of the lands where QT now stands. I would also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands um, from where you're joining from today as well. So firstly, what was the situation um, or the context in the health library team at QT that uh, prompted us to undertake this project? So um, we have a, a team of uh, highly experienced librarians um, with uh, lots of knowledge and experience about reviews and also experience providing co-authorship over, over many, many years, but it's a very busy team and uh, liaison librarians at QUT um, have many competing priorities. So we do lots of different work. Um, and so uh, review support is just one um, aspect of a larger role. So it can be difficult to find time to stop, um, reflect and share best practice. Um, and being busy can also be um, hard to know um, if we're providing support consistently because we're all, you know, plugged into schools within the faculty. So we're often, you know, we can't, we're not siloed, but sometimes it can be, a, a, you know, we're all running um, quite fast and hard doing the work. <laughs> So um, another complexity too within this space uh, at QT uh, is that we um, we don't currently have a service charter for review support. However, when we are providing um, co-author level support, we we there is a consistent understanding that we must get um, approval from our manager before committing to um, that level of support. So that's the um, that was the situation. So based on this, what we set out to do within the team was to define uh, the work involved in co-author support. Um, so within this, we sought to collect and capture the shared knowledge and, and approaches to service among the team members with the aim to, um, uh, with this to reach a level of consensus um, and, and sort of map out some consistency uh, and develop some resources that we can use within the team to um, improve our work and um, I guess improve our teamwork and understanding of how we can do this together. But then based on that, we wanted to um, have some resources that could be used across other faculty teams because um, increasingly non-health disciplinary areas are are doing reviews and it's been happening for many years, but also we're finding that liaison librarians in other teams are getting asked for this level of support. Um, so we thought that all of this work too could also be a first step towards scoping out um, the broader service at QUT, uh, maybe getting towards some sort of service charter or sense of what a service might look like, um, because essentially the, the co-author end of uh, the support is the, the trickiest end, so maybe working backwards from that can help us sort of get a sense of how we might do this, um, have this as a service more broadly, or think about it as a service within our liaison service. So um, what did we do then um, as a project, um, uh, Rosie and I? So. Looking within the team, um, firstly, though, we uh, we did a literature review. So we wanted to just see what's the literature saying about li librarians' roles as co-authors. Then we uh, did a, an environmental scan, just looking at other universities, uh, libraries, uh, service charters, and focusing in on the co-author level of support, just to give us a bit of background and inform how people are doing this work. Then um, we took a staged approach within the team to start to sort of map things out for us. So firstly, what we did, we wanted to focus on um, an understanding of what co-author level support looks like. So we did a survey of the health librarians to define the key areas that one would normally contribute to um, in order to be considered a co-author on a review. Um, and this was a way for us to understand really, yeah, if, um, we share a consistent approach and understanding, um, both in terms of me methods, but also length of service and like how, you know, service delivery, how far we might go with that. The second stage was to collect the, the knowledge of the team and then um, explore the, the best practice approaches. So this uh, was a survey and then a workshop. So once again, we surveyed the team, um, but this time it was to collect um, knowledge and approaches relating to those areas mapped out in the first survey. Uh, we then did a one and a half hour to two hour workshop to discuss the results of the survey uh, and then discuss and share those ideas. And we documented all of this um, to help inform and um, 
I guess, map out some future resources that we might create and any initiatives that might help us as a as the health team, but also thinking broadly still what might help other librarians, uh, which leads to the, the stage three, um, which we're sort of hoping to get to a bit more, um, how this can be shared more broadly, which I'll talk a bit more about. So based on all of this, um, um, what, you know, we had the following outcomes, which I'll touch on a bit in a bit more detail now. So um, our definition of co-authorship um, with the team um, is, as you can see on the slide here. So this was important, I think, for us um, because it was a way for us to understand, um, you know, the general start and an end point that we would often go to um, as co-authors, um, as librarians, as co-authors. Um, and it was actually quite good because we all had, a, we all came to this same understanding. There wasn't really any sort of touchy points here about should do this or shouldn't do that. So this was actually quite a nice way for us to go, oh, yeah, we, we, we understand this, this is how we work. But also then it's useful for us to sort of pull this out and think about the steps that we may generally go through. So as you can see um, from this, we, we go from, uh, search strategy development um, through to um, writing the methods section for a published review, but we also flagged um, and thought it was important to to note that um, searches often need updating prior to publication. So I think this is all important for us just to keep in mind, especially also then when we're translating this work back to our managers. Um, and then in the space of the research development, um, there are a few things that we teased out. So one was we were thinking uh, around um, resources for ourselves, but also other librarians. So a, um, a toolkit um, we're thinking for, for librarians. So that could be in the form of say a libguide, um, mainly internally focused, but it could be useful for other, uh, other librarians across, across the, you know, the sphere. Um, so structure around the steps that we had um, in the previous slide, with links to resources and best, best practice examples. So, you know, shout out to this, um, the, the Bond tool because we're users of that. So we'll have a link to that as well. Um, and we also talked about having like an exemplar template folder um, that we could use um, as a way to help with the data management aspects of reviews because we, um, we create lots of files in, in that process. So it's important that we're doing good data management as, you know, that's part of um, our area of expertise. Then more broadly, we were um, uh, we're wanting to share our skills out of the health team with other librarians and, and involve them in this and also upskill people. So we're thinking some upskill sessions for other librarians and non health librarians, but also um, hopefully um, empowering them to look at how reviews might be done in their space. Uh, and then within that, thinking about a bit of a community of practice of librarians, um, so we can sort of start to share best practice, latest developments, etc. So work on these areas is ongoing, um, but we're hoping that all of the work that we did in this pro project will inform broader discussion about review support um, and service scoping within the library. So that's a very quick um, snapshot. So thanks for listening. And if you've um, got questions, I'd be, um, be happy to answer. So thanks very much.